<laughs> yeah, do yeah. your job. The Bills defense has stepped up in this game. Let's bring in Mick Ossie. I'm losing it. Yeah. Here, What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> oh, even got the white Broncos Peyton oh. Manning jersey on, and oh, you must be God, getting God. worried, Gabe. 15 all is going to be possibly a big, big upset. But yeah, your Bills are not that good, but we're doing better. Russell Wilson is looking better. But what a great catch by Court- Cortland Sutton, eh? That was a ripper. That really sure was what? an amazing catch. That was one of the best feet catches I've ever seen in my life, actually. Like, to, I gotta to, give the Russell speed, Wilson the way that he... Yeah, yeah. yeah Wilson's mm-hmm. looked good tonight. Dude, I'm telling you, Gabe, I watched this guy for years. He's definitely lost... Tw- they said 15. No way. He's lost about 25. Like, he's way thinner. Look at his face. He doesn't have the chub. Like, he looks more athletic. He's, he's running He's running more. the football. Yeah. yeah, something happened. Like, Wilson, like, I don't know what's going on. Are they buying into Sean Payton all of a sudden because their defense has stepped up? Denver, no more well, donkeys, Nick. Put some, they put are some three and five. In this guy. Put it this not donkeys. <laughs> if the Bills lo- lose this game, they're five and five. The Broncos win the game, they're four and five. Suddenly, everyone's talking yep. about how bad Denver is, and Buffalo would only be one game better than them. They have right. been better, Mick, over the last month, right? That game against Kansas City, the 18 9 game, they hung around, low scoring game. They beat the Green Bay Packers. They play the Kansas City Chiefs again. They beat the Kansas City Chiefs by double digits, too. Not like some lucky win. They shut down. The, they held them to nine points or whatever it was. Very impressive. And now this with the with the Bills, you can see the attitude, too, Mick. You're a Bronco fan. Like, they're playing with a little bit of a swagger and enthusiasm. They're running hard. Like, the Bengals, the, they give credit to the Broncos. They've turned things around in the last month. Yeah, absolutely. And if they can beat them in Buffalo, that would be huge. But you're right. Our defense has really picked it up after that disgraceful effort against Miami. But, hey, if we can keep going and and Jerry Judy starts to pull his head in and get some catches and Sutton and Wilson is looking better. He's still not back to what he was, but I have hope. I have some faith after a disgusting year and a half with uh, Russell Wilson at quarterback. You, you see him run tonight, Gabe? That was like Russell Wilson right. early. Like, he looked like he took like three or four years off his career. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Like, a cryo, like one of these special baths and lost weight, but he looks like he's taking it seriously again. And that's scary. Good, well, you're good right. on him. You know what? On that play, and Mick, you're right. Like, uh, Sutton, Sutton, that was, that was an amazing catch, but Cam, you're right as well. What's lost in that was Russell Wilson, man. They were at, like, the eight-yard line or something. He scrambles all the way back to almost the 30. <laughs> and, like, and it's almost that, like, that, Russ, what are you doing, bro? You're just like, oh, and then he throws it up, perfect throw into the end zone. That was old school. But that's also where he gets in trouble as well. But at least that shows he's yep. getting some confidence back, unlike Josh Allen and the Bills. Like, so the Bills get the ball back, second down, and he has to throw it away because there's nothing there. Like, this is just, it's unacceptable, this offense. Like, Ken Dorsey is terrible. He I is. don't understand as well why they don't go into a no a no quick hurry up, just no huddle, hurry up. It's clearly not working what you are doing. And they get it's defensive point, about Brent. it. They're it, asked about it, it, Cam. People ask them after, how come you, they said you had success going quick. He goes, well, McDermott said you can't go quick all the time every game. Well, why not? Like, hey, I'll tell you, Gabe, I've been watching a lot. That's what, you know what Cleveland did. When they started pounding the rock, they just kept on pounding and pounding and pounding, and you saw what they did. They took Baltimore's will away. What did the Jets do when they were successful last night? And Wilson looked confident, running like a gazelle. You know what? And then all of a sudden, Nate Hackett goes, you know what? Let's get creative again. And then the, and then the kid didn't get a first down for like four drives. It's not that difficult. Do what's right. You talked about it. you got to make adjustments during the game, and the Bills are one of the worst at it. Three, three and out. Josh Allen just yep. throws to a double team. Two guys are all over Gabriel Davis. For whatever reason, he's, he throws it to him. They're not getting Diggs involved at all. Like, this, it's ridiculous. You know, Diggs really has is. three catches. Just drop back and throw a slant to Diggs. Like, and let Almost him run. Like, after, and then good. do it again after. What kind of throw is that? You said it. In a double coverage, the guy's blanketed by two guys. Like, it doesn't use your head, hell man. Of being completed. No. It's either going to be intercepted right or team? incomplete. And what else did the Bills do? They're going good. They ran Cook. They ran Cook when he fumbled and stuff. They have, and then they just get out of it. Another like, thing, Cam. Where's Latavius Murray? We just talked about Latavius Murray. I know. He looks so great. successful. They score a touchdown. Would have he hasn't touched a ball again since? So the Broncos <laughs> coaching, just right. got a nice punt return. They got the ball back yep. at the fifty yard line. Here we go. This is a this is a train wreck, dude. That was a that was one of the most like 
disgraceful three and outs I've ever seen in my life. Like the defense gets you the ball back after you turn it over for the fourth time, and that's what you do. That's what you come up with, Dorsey. So first down run, second down, Josh throws it out of bounds. Third down, he throws it into double team coverage that didn't have a hope in hell. And why are you designing a play on third down to Gabriel Davis? Like, I, I, you know, Mick, I was hoping you'd be the frustrated one tonight. I, yeah. I didn't you know, I didn't think it would be like this. <laughs> well, I'm okay because I didn't bet on it, but I'm, I presume you put a lot of money on your bills because I know you like them to cover. I heard you today, but... No. Nah, mate. No, I didn't cover to cover. Just got to win the damn game, Mick. Just win the game. We don't even care about the cover anymore. <laughs> That's all that matters is when... All right, I don't what's know what's your going pick, on, Mick? Like, for what? No, no, I just I'm in shock. Like this team is like they were good. Like I don't understand. Like the with the like the offense like at, at ease. Everything's hard now. Like they, I'm just like it's it's baffling to me with the talent that they have. Josh a- Allen too. He's just I don't know what's. Did they just have a team meeting the other day too? Yeah, yeah. Latavius Murray About was this, the guy. Accountability was and blah yeah. blah oh. and like yeah. yeah. Sound good meeting. I guess no one was listening. They were just okay, sure. Sounds good. Latavius. So yep. Mick next. hundred and tenth Grey Cup. Montreal Alouettes make it against the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Fourth year in a row the Bombers are in a championship game. It's an unbelievable run that Zach Caleros and these guys have been on Coach O'Shea. Uh, amazing stuff. And I brought it up earlier. Uh, that it's the hundred and tenth Grey Cup and Winnipeg and Montreal have never played each other before in the championship game. What do you think, uh, Mick? Do the Alouettes have a chance against the Bombers getting seven and a half point, um, seven and a half points in Hamilton? Uh, no, but I've said that for the last two weeks. So for the third week in a row, I've got to give Jason Moss credit. But Cam was right, and I was worried about this, that the Argos did have too much time off. There's something about momentum and rhythm and routine, and Chad Kelly was terrible. What did he throw? Four disgusting picks. It was all over, and congratulations to the Owls, but no, I think the Bombers will be too big and strong in all areas, although Owls have a do- very good defense, but yeah, the Bombers were too good for the BC Lions. We just didn't have a very good running game, and as you know, the Bombers have a great running, running game. Kenny Lawler and their receivers, fantastic. So they got a really good all-round team. And their defense, man, they're good and tough. Bombers to win and cover. But, hey, I was wrong last week with the Owls, so maybe not. One thing about Montreal is, listen, they're, they're, they have that team of destiny thing going and all that. But if you really look back on it, you just said it, Mick. Chad Kelly was terrible. He threw one of the pick sixes was like a gift like type thing. It was like Mac Jones bat. Like he threw it right to the dude, like no problem. Mm -hmm. Um, He turned, like you said, he was bad. So they had two pick six returns and they had a kickoff return for a touchdown. It's like the Alouettes. It wasn't like the Alouette offense went right up and down the field or anything like that. That's one thing that could be a problem for them um, against the, um, Against the Bombers. All right, what's this penalty for? Here's Vinovich. False start, Denver. Good. All right, so 15-15, 11.47 left in the fourth quarter of play. And I got to tell you what, the teaser number, like the the total and all this, we're getting – I know. It's not good. It's not good. Now we got to come back and make it (laughs) 22-22. That's our only hope. No, that's the thing. I, I, the teaser sounds great. Just hold the three. Like, there's no way. I, got, I, got, I want the Bills to win, too. I don't even care about the yes. overrated at this I'm point. Like, you. I need the Bills to win. You like. know what? The greed uh, and gambling just win the damn football game. Man, he, man, I, you said, I know Russell Wilson ate his Wheaties today, but he looks like a totally different guy. It's like, this is Seattle Seahawks, Russell, in his prime. Li- lingering, I, making I knew it. I was worried. <laughs> that ball's out. <laughs> That's not an annual. That's not a catch. That's not a catch. catch. He didn't catch. I got to review this. That's oh, not God. a catch. I told you this crew screws the Bills. <laughs> but hang in here, Mick, for a second. That's to stop that. Call the Bills. What are you out. doing? I'm with you, though. You have to challenge that. Even if it's 50 50, you have to challenge well, that because it's too close. Oh, look at Mick. They're about to score a touchdown. They just ran the ball to the two yard line. Oh, God, we're done.
This is the end of this uh, situation here. And this is the yeah. end of the Bills, bro. This is yeah, it. They're they're not, if they lose this game, they're not making the playoffs. Point blank. Nope. It's just, that's that. Nope. Uh, if the playoffs started today, they're already not in the playoffs. Look at you, Mick. Back on the Bronco bandwagon, I see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you disown yes. them. <laughs> Well, a couple of average teams, both of them, aren't they, really, to be honest? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but at least yeah. Denver's having fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, I cannot believe the Raptors are going to come back from a 22-point deficit and blow this parlay because the Bills lose to the Denver Broncos. Should I first have got a couple right now. Okay. i got some picks for you. Okay. Oh, what do you got? Well, before... The two games of the World Cup cricket semi-finals are happening before Friday night. So India play New Zealand and Australia play South Africa. India are favourites and so are Australian. I think they'll both win and that's what everyone wants is Australia and India in the World Cup cricket final in India. And India play New Zealand at your Mumbai Indians field. But if India lose the toss and bat second, that can be trouble because the team batting second has trouble with the night time and the swing of the ball. So watch that. Whoever bats first, very important toss in the India versus New Zealand game. Javante Williams touchdown. Yes. And oh my, oh my God. Shout out to everybody joining us on Sirius XM Channel 159 of the Sports Good Radio Networks. I am Gabriel Renzi kicking it. Cam Stewart in the house. Mick Aussie. Uh, Cam's, I'm a Bills fan. I'm I'm on like, I'm about to rage. Cam's flipping out because he's got a lot of money on the game. I do. And, uh, Mick's a Bronco I fan. So I hit every like big teaser, everyone middle, but I have the Bills and like everything. I didn't realize how many times I clicked the Bills, but it was way too many. And I'm just in big trouble right now. Like we have major problems. Edmonton just scored uh, two goals, though. Uh, is everybody on the Oilers tonight? Come on, hey, Mick. Edmonton. Are people what are, you, what are people saying in Edmonton, Mick, about uh, Woodcroft getting fired? Well, you... we all have, we all had a day off here today, so I didn't talk to many people. But it's good hey, that oh. Connor McDavid's ex coach is a new coach. I'm okay with that, but yeah, bit weird firing the coach because they loved him. Oh, last the local year. shows weren't on today. Yeah, yeah. it was a holiday. Oh, what, well, Oh, really? Was it Alberta Day today? Is it Alberta Day? Uh, we, veterans Day. Well, you don't get oh, veterans you don't day, get yeah. day off? So what uh, everyone, we don't get days off here. No, no we don't get days off. No, I did the show with Scotty Farrell on Veterans Day, buddy. It's Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Attention! We're here to gamble. <laughs> there's no uh there's no there's no uh sports, sports talk uh, TV and radio. There's not a lot of uh not a lot of <laughs> mandatory holidays. Yes, exactly, <laughs> We're not postmen. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now, We're Vince not postmen. Today. Hey, you want to go? You want to go out? Like, yeah, no, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I only know that small. today because I knew there was no mail today. Someone was in there. Were like, yeah. Yeah, there's no mail today. So. Yeah, usually I wait for the guy at the mailbox. He didn't show up. <laughs> That's right, Gabe. <laughs> we need a touchdown. Okay. So the Bills have five minutes to pull this off. Five oh six. They're down by six. It's twenty one fifteen right now. The, the Broncos just score, but they missed the extra point. They didn't miss it. They fumbled the whatever. They they muffed the snap, and it turned into a, a circus. But uh, we got big-time drama here uh, right now. Twenty And in the hockey game, as Cam alluded to, and George Kurtz is coming up in a couple of minutes, and uh, George will talk about the ironic twist of Jay Woodcroft got fired by the Edmonton Oilers his first game as head coach of the Oilers was a 3-1 win against the New York Islanders. Wow. Huh. George Kurtz tweeted me and Kurtz they tweet, tweeted this today. Kurtz, and I'm going to credit, if it ends up 3-1, that's just eerie. Because Kurtz said, Jay Wilcox's first game was against the Islanders, and he won 3-1. He goes, watch for 3-1 tonight, question mark, and then here, 3-1 right now. That's it, unbelievable. With this lot with knoblock, like yeah, that's new, say, new coach no, against coach, the same Islanders. Course? Same, same, yeah, same. New, yeah. And Edmonton doesn't and play the, the Islanders same very often. That's the thing. So that's very like wow. That's actually oh. shocking. Oh, oh you got to be kidding me! You Good. can't make this up. Oh my Good or bad? god! Oh, we're done. Uh, just, I don't even know what to say. Watch how far behind. How like. 
Dalvin Cook got the ball, was running with the ball, fumbled the ball oh again. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! No! Oh, he fumbled and caught his own fumble off the bounce. It bounced up. <laughs> oh, my God. Too far behind you. What is happening to life? Mick Ozzy, help us with wow. cricket. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Actually, Gatos, that, was, that, that was the it. craziest play ever. Oh. It would have been like Mick, if Cook fumbled again, like he would have like this. You know, it just Mick, would have been like, <laughs> you got to come here. They created this cage, and these guys, these guys are warming up for like Mississauga is going to have like this new cricket team. They're they're bowlers there. Like there's a cage, and they're instead of baseball, they're bowling and whack whack. It's like a cricket cage, like a batting you a good bent arm bowler, yeah. Mick. Oh man, it's awesome. I watch those guys. I go for my walk. I'm like these guys are like they're good too. We're going to have, like, a good cricket team. I'm telling you, these guys are amazing. All right, Mick. we got to get out of here. Good to see you. Good to see we'll you. Catch up, uh, we'll catch up later in the week. Although we're going to be in Vegas, so things could be a little hectic. But, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Go Bills. Still time yeah, left. We didn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. Why wasn't the clock running? Like, seriously. They, they, boy, I don't know what's going on here. Hey, he missed oh, the field goal, but a flag oh came down. Oh, my God. Buffalo had too many men. What? Oh, jeez. They he missed the field goal. Buffalo had too many men, though. He'll oh, get another chance. No way. No you way. You can't make this up. He two, misses two, two, the field goal. Two, two, and it was Denver that had chaos. Like, I can't. This is like you want to talk about like fireable and fire everybody type of stuff. And let's see. In the huddle, so not even like getting off the field. They had, no, they literally had 12 guys lined up, 11 on the line of scrimmage, and one guy back. Oh, my God. This isn't CFL football. And then, and then after that, he misses the field goal. They were gifted it. He missed it. They were gifted it. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. It's been a long time since I've seen that. Uh, on, You're telling on me I've seen this. He missed too. In a and, now, yeah, and, and then they win. Yep. 24-22 final score. Oh, I'm done. This in the a... most, in the most Buffalo, only Buffalo way ever. Just add this up to the Monday nighter I was at years ago against the Cowboys, and every other stupid loss of the Bills over the years. So the Bills have the same effing record as the Las Vegas Raiders and Indianapolis Colts now. Wow, it's a good way of putting it. That's craziness. Yeah, and that con- they're hey, saying the Colts, Cam. Hey, the man. Colts. The they, deserve to lose. Is- they deserve to lose the game. The turnovers early, the mistakes, another turnover. Allen doesn't even get the ball. And you have too many cook. men on the field? Men on a field goal. And they missed and they the missed field the goal. Kick. Give another chance to win. This is insanity. That's, that's the worst thing. This they missed insanity. the kick. They would have won the game. The worst teams in the world don't do these things. I'm telling the you, right thing is, Cam, this is, the, you know what this is, Cam? That's the Great Cup. That's the Saskatchewan Rough Riders lost the Great Cup to the Alouettes. Yeah, like, we were there, the Alouettes, yeah. Duval missed the kick, and then there were too many men on the field, yeah. and he made the second one. Yeah, I watched the documentary on it. Rider fans are still upset. Like, at the at the barber shop, it's, I can't believe there were so many men, too many men on the field. Like, they it's had just 13 men on the field. <laughs> yeah, they had 13. <laughs> 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 the worst team.